Hey, what's up everybody? This is Gary with Life Unhindered. Wanted to bring you along with a little bit of a DIY project today. Nothing too exciting, uh, but it actually helped me out a bunch and saved me 90 bucks for about an hour's worth of work. And uh, hopefully with this video, sorry for the noise in the background, but with this video, maybe you can do it in about 10 minutes. Today, we're gonna be talking about this vacuum cleaner and a little bit of how to get it to work when it's no longer working. We've had this uh, vacuum cleaner for a while. It is the Shark Navigator, the Freestyle. I'll put a link in the description uh, to the exact what, exactly what it is, but it was about 4,000, 4,100, four five-star reviews when I last checked, and so it's a really highly rated vacuum cleaner, and we've had it in our house, had great success with it for about three or four years. But in the last 30 days or so, we've been having some trouble. And the trouble we've been having is that after about four or five seconds after starting, the, the beater bar at the bottom, and I'll show you in a little bit, it stopped rotating. And there's a bunch of different maintenance that you can do on these particular machines. Uh, and I'll bring you along for a little bit of that to help you know, kind of troubleshoot different issues. But I did all those and I wasn't having any success. So I had to jump in and go a little bit deeper in the troubleshooting. Again, took me about an hour's worth of work, but saved me 90 bucks. So 90 bucks an hour, pretty good return on investment. So let me give you in, let me show you a little bit of the basic maintenance you can perform and then exactly what I did to fix the issue. Okay, before we jump in and I show you exactly what I did on this particular troubleshoot, I wanted to point you in the right direction for general maintenance. This is the kind of maintenance you're gonna be doing 80% of the time and it's gonna fix 80% of the issues. The first one is basically you just need to clean out the unit. And the first way you can do that is you have a, a release here at the top of this button here. If I go ahead and press that, it'll release this entire housing here uh, that has a couple of different areas where your dirt and debris go into whenever you are vacuuming. The first one is this one here. So if I click on this, this is gonna bring out this top part here. Keep that top open and then you'll be able to remove this particular filter, this housing here. So I've already done that, but that is going to be your first step. You want to make sure that's clean and free of debris as well as getting in there. I like to, if you have some compressed air, I'll blow that out. But actually you can even go in there with some soap and water if you want to really get a good clean. So go ahead and close that back. See the click there. The second area here is uh, at the bottom You can click that. It'll open up an additional area here. Uh, a lot of dirt and debris will get caught into uh, these areas here. You can see some still left and of course in the bottom. And like I said at the top, you can also clean this part out with soap and water. You go ahead and put this off to the side and give two additional details. Uh, one is at the bottom where this housing was stored, there is a foam membrane here, kind of a filter. So if you can squeeze that, you can actually take this entire thing out. And I, I've, I've cleaned this with soap and water as well uh, a number of weeks ago, so it's actually a lot cleaner uh, than it previously was. But you know, if you do clean this out with soap and water, make sure it's fairly dry, if not all the way dry, before you put it back in. The last area I'll get into before talking about today's troubleshoot is just basic maintenance here on your beater bar. Oftentimes you'll have hair and certain debris that will get caught in this particular bar and kind of restrict it from rotating as freely as it would like to. So there actually is a little lip on this beater bar that you can just run a pair of scissors along, along the line there to cut off any hair or debris that is in, the, in your particular way. So if you just had a pair of scissors here, you can set up this little edge and cut just along that area there. I've already done it in this particular case, but then that will free up uh, the beater bar from any of that hair and debris. That alone will take care, again, like I said, about 80% of issues. Uh, the issue I had today was kind of in that 20% or maybe even in a 5% of scenarios uh, that it wasn't working, and I'll talk about what that was uh, in a second. Okay, now I want to cover the 20%, 10%, or 5% of scenarios where uh, you're still having troubles uh, with this particular uh, vacuum cleaner. Uh, one easy thing to do, we're going to be working on this uh, beater bar area here. One thing to help with uh, working uh, with this is there is a button back here. If you press, you can actually release uh, the entire bottom section of the vacuum cleaner uh, and then that will allow you to work with it a little more freely. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, there's a screw here, basically just a little lock. So you just take a little 
a flathead screwdriver and unlock that area there. And then what that does, make sure that's fully unlocked. And then you can just simply take out this piece here, exposing the belt to your overall, your beater bar here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove the entire beater bar, kind of lift it up a little bit, shimmy this belt off, and then you are freed, the entire beater bar is freed uh, from the particular vacuum cleaner. Now, of course, if you look in here, you can go ahead and start uh, removing any debris that you see in the vacuum cleaner here, uh, but we're actually gonna dig into the beater bar itself. So what you wanna do to go ahead and get this part off to get access to all the hair under there is I use a, a pair of pliers or you could use a flathead screwdriver to pop that off. So what I do is I grab this, just get a nice little grip with the flathead screwdriver and pull that off. And now you can put that little bushing aside. Now you have this whole area uh, to explore and to see if there's any hair in the area there. So actually what I did whenever I used, whenever I finally got that bushing off, I used a, a sewing tool uh, that is meant to remove a thread. That is this tool here. You can use whatever, tweezers, whatever the case may be that you need. You can kind of see that. And what I did is I just began to dig inside there to cut away and then remove all the hair that had been wrapped around that particular area of the beater bar. And then I went ahead and put that bushing back on, just kind of snaps back in place. And then you just reverse the sequence all together. Just wanted to show you some of the hair. It's probably 50% of the hair. I didn't get the rest on camera through the rest away, but it's about 50% of the hair removed from that little bushing area of the beater bar. And if I can bring you over to the vacuum cleaner here, we'll go ahead and start here. See the beater bar rotating there? A little bit hard to see, but uh, suffice it to say that solved the problem. So I hope that video helped a little bit. I know it was short and brief, but that hopefully will save you an hour or more of time like it did me. I'm glad that I spent the hour. I learned a little bit more about the vacuum cleaner. And of course it saved me $90 to go ahead and replace this model or thinking of maybe I needed a higher model because this one wasn't good enough. Actually, the model was perfectly fine. It just had a little bit of a clog. So again, first step is always to do that 80% that I mentioned of kind of maintenance, making sure it's free of any debris, making sure any hair is removed generally from the beater bar, cut along that edge that it has down there. Uh, but if you do encounter a scenario where motor's running good, suction's good, but the beater bar is stopping uh, after you know three seconds, five seconds, go ahead and give this kind of more advanced uh, troubleshoot a try. Go ahead and remove that bushing and cut away any hair that's along that and probably that will be a good step in the right direction.